Hello my friends, I'm Rich Larson and I'm the RC Tire Guy. Today we want to give you guys insight into the work and time that goes into each new tire. Testing specs, changing specs, and finalizing specs is a long, drawn out, and expensive process. As you know, we have the new JX8 Kokoda, M5B Evo, and VX series set to release early next year. Each one of these new tires have had a lot of time and testing put in on them by me personally. I love testing and the more I do it, the more I improve on my skill in feeling the machine and how each different tire spec affects the machine. But I've also learned and realized how much work it takes to create a tire that is ready for the consumer. And that's what I wanted to give you guys a little more insight in on today. This past weekend, I was contracted by IRC to test a new off-road tire that should be set to release later next year. Every time I test a new product here in Utah, I recommend contracting my good friend Nick Thompson as an additional tester. Nick is a beast on a motorcycle, especially in the fast stuff. Having grown up racing motocross, works, and national heron hounds, then moving on to endurocross as well, he's a very well-rounded rider and a great addition to our testing, especially in understanding how a tire performs. Now, after we establish the riders, we also establish the location in which we want to test the tires. The challenge in testing is establishing the tire's performance in its recommended terrain, but also understanding its performance in all types of terrain. We don't necessarily only want to test on a perfectly groomed loamy motocross track. The average consumer usually rides a plethora of different terrain, and most of the time it's not perfectly groomed. We made the decision to literally pick the worst, most hard pack motocross track I could think of for day one of testing. It's an old amateur motocross track in Dell, Utah. The thought was to use this tire at a place where the average consumer goes. I personally grew up riding here. For the most part, if you can make a tire perform well on extremely hard pack blue groove, there's a good chance it'll perform well everywhere. That was for day one. For day two, we changed the location and soil condition to something that's more of an intermediate soil. Again, where you'll see the average rider go. Now, when we're testing these prototype tires, there is a certain level of pressure that is put on Nick and I personally as testers. These are all blind tests. The difference in internal material, structure, and compound can feel extremely slight when changing from tire to tire. I personally pride myself on being able to perceive these blind changes in tire setup. Noticing something as small as a few ounces in weight or even a change internally in the distance between each cord making the carcass slightly softer not only instills confidence in myself but in IRC in trusting in me on doing this testing. This is where Nick and I complement each other well. I can tell him what the tire is internally and he can tell me how the tire is performing. Nick rides at a very high level so he can push the tire to the absolute limit. We tested multiple internal specs, multiple motos at multiple locations for multiple days. Again, this is a time consuming and truthfully expensive process. And this was only for one size of tire. This current testing was done on a 110-118 rear and an 80-121 front. The reason we choose these sizes is it offers a well-rounded performance and it's the best starting point when testing tires, especially because we heavily focus on off-road. Most off-road riders choose an 18-inch rear. Each time we expand size, that equals additional testing and of course, time and budget. A bigger size requires multiple adjustments for internal design, such as what cord material we use, how many strings should be used to create a good balance of flex and rigidity, and of course, bigger equals more rubber, which also means an additional expense. So it's not really as simple as just make it bigger. Each additional size is hundreds of thousands of dollars more in not only rubber, but internal analyzation and of course, R&D. The reason I'm saying all this is I want you guys to have an insight on what goes on behind closed doors as we try to make better and better tires for you. And the fact is, 
all of the testing Nick and I did this past weekend was only the first step in creating this new tire. We didn't even finalize the internal structure. We are going back to the drawing board for additional internal setups and additional testing on different types of terrain to make sure that we're moving in the correct direction. Although one of the specs from this past weekend was obviously the best, there's still a lot to be done. And again, that's only for one size. I want you guys to know that we hear you and we're working hard to expand the product line from IRC. There's going to be much more in-depth information and behind the scene looks at testing on all these new products coming out. So if you enjoy the channel, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, as well as follow us on Instagram at IRC Moto and my personal Instagram page at richlarson511. Until next time, keep shredding.